I was just yapping away about the fact that I bought a mic and I forgot to turn it on the whole time. <laughs> um, anyway, a summary of what I was saying was, hello, I said I wanted to um, introduce the vlog. I'm going to be vlogging today, I'm trying to do like a weekly vlog situation. Um, I love it. I'm just not very consistent. It's just that I forget sometimes that I'm trying to vlog. And also sometimes I just feel like I'm boring. But then a lot of the people that I watch are literally just chilling at home. And I like watching that. So if you like watching that, you might like watching me, you know? Um, then I said that I'm using my Aesop face wash. It's called the Purifying Facial Cream Cleanser. Another thing I talked about as well is this new stand, like for my skincare and stuff. And it's been really good because when things are in your face, you just tend to use them a lot more and a lot better. So recently, I've been kind of putting all my serums and everything in my hand and then just doing that and then putting it all over my face. I don't know if that kind of like makes things lose their effect, lose their power or whatever. But um, it's been helping me stay consistent with it if I don't do them all at once. And have to do it one by one i won't do it um first thing i used was the pixie glow tonic also my plan for today is i have a hair appointment in probably like 15 minutes it's 10 minutes away and then i'll come back home to work and then i have an interview with lewis hamilton at four oh four thirty but I have to be there before four. And then I'll probably go to the gym. And then after that, oh, this was the vitamin C tonic by Pixie as well. So this is the niacinamide serum. Then this is the Cesderma Repiskin something. It's a lipo, liposomal, liposomal serum. I don't know. They tell me you use it, I'll use it. Um, then the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. Mainly love this because of the color. Finally, Ordinary Hy Hyaluronic Acid, 2% plus B5. I mush it all together to just make one serum to use. Then I'm using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. I love this i was never really an eye cream girl until this girl came into my life she's wonderful i feel like it's become like one of the most important steps in my skincare i have to use my eye cream i know you're supposed to use your ring finger but it requires a lot more effort that way oh it just feels so good the drawers of this could be a lot better. Now I'm going to use the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Cream. The Hydra Beauty line at Chanel. Wonderful. I have the face cream. I have the eye cream. And I have the serum. Then, last but not least, sunscreen. This is, this is this? Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And in the back of my hands because my mommy always told me to do that then i also got this thing by hero which is the rescue balm which is supposed to help with like scars and stuff but look at the tube it's so small and i feel like as someone that used to get crazy not i don't want to say crazy as someone who used to be prone to acne um i have a lot of scars and this small thing is not gonna it's not very efficient if it was like a whole cream I could have used, that would be great. Um, I just use it on the most obvious ones. Because if I'm going to sit and like actually go on my spots, I'll be here for a while. That is today's skincare. I use the Gisu lip oil. I broke the cap. And now I have to open it like this. And it's not, it doesn't feel good. Also, I have no idea what time it is. Then for perfume, oh, obviously, Britney Fantasy. And I 
have been starting my day. It's been like a week only, but I've been starting my day with the right gummies. It is for gut health and digestion, probiotics and plant complex. Uh, I get bloated like crazy. If I have one drop of water in my system, I'm bloated immediately. Um, so that's that. But I want to drink water first because she's chewy. I'm walking here, but you can still hear me. I'm going to grab socks. Today's shoes, Converse. Here's the tea. I feel like I suck at staying consistent with things. Um, I either forget I'm doing something like this whole vlog thing, or I, I don't know, I feel like what I'm doing is not good or anything like that. And I just don't really stay on schedule. But when I do, I do see results. And I do feel like a growing passion and stuff like that. But I don't know why that's not enough to keep me going. But I've learned to take it easy on myself. If I didn't vlog for like two months, I'm not going to sit and cry about it. I'm going to be like, okay, come on, girl, let's go. My goal, though, is to be extremely consistent. I love when the YouTubers I watch actually post every single week on schedule. And I want to be that bitch, you know? So I'm going to take my book with me. I'm not going to take my work stuff because I'm quite on track with everything and I don't need to get on any calls or whatever. So I'm going to use this moment to just like read and chill. I'm reading the Sally, the Sally Rooney. I'm reading Sally Rooney's book. It's called Beautiful World, Where Are You? Almost halfway through. I'm excited. It's getting, it's getting juicy. So let's go. Uh, I just remembered. I want to send myself the questions for the interview so that on my way home, I can go print it somewhere. We don't have a printer at home. Mm, don't think we ever did. Oh, we did. And obviously, I have a lot more questions than we have time. But that's always good to be safe. And then later, I like to highlight the ones that are the most important for me so that I can get those out first. And then if there's more time, I'll ask the other ones as well. So I'm just going to email it to myself. Camilla, yeah. I've obviously never met Lewis Hamilton, but... I think he's going to be really nice. So I'm kind of looking forward to the conversation. And it's the first time I'm doing an interview, which is like very watch focused. It's very timepiece. And that's something that's quite challenging for me, I would say. But I'm excited to do that. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, my appointment's in like three minutes. And I live 10 minutes away. So let's go. My AC was dead because of the rain. And I've been using this. And it literally just got fixed. Look at her. She's back. This is the simple Uted. I'm wearing Adidas whip Converse. Um, this is a Lazami top. My brother used to do this on his own with his bestie. Um, their brand was called Lazami. And yes. Oh, and uh, my bag is Calvin Klein. My book is Sally Rooney. Let's go. Bye. When and if I get a car anytime soon, I definitely want to get a stand for my phone. Um, car vlogs are like one of my favorite things to see. La, 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 la. Do you guys, do you say a little prayer before you start driving? My parents always did that. And growing up, I just found that to be like the normal thing. I used to do it all the time, but I tend to forget a lot. It's just like cute little things that you say in your head. Um, to make sure that it's going to be a safe drive and it's just like thank you for another day you know let's say a prayer anyway now i'm gonna head to my nail appointment nailed my hair appointment i did my nails yesterday by the way it's like um it depends on the light that you're looking at it but it's pretty much like a burgundy dark maroon type of situation it's like brown but in some lights it's red and when it's there's no light it's black um i really like it i did red nails for the first time in a million years um a couple weeks ago and i think i'm turning into a red girl this guy's flying 
I'm so curious to see what angle you guys have me at. Usually I listen to music with Bluetooth, but I'm using my phone to vlog. So radio? What's on the radio these days? Let's see. Let's figure it out together. So I drew a new face and I laughed. Feels great. Oh my goodness. Am I wrong or was this song in um, Treasure Planet, the Disney animation film? Um, I'm pretty sure that's where I discovered it. I'm gonna fact check and let you know. So the answer is no. The lead singer of Goo Goo Dolls is the one who made the entire soundtrack for Treasure Planet though, which explains how I found the song. And also, oh my god, I used to be obsessed with this movie. I think I watched it twice a day, every single day. And I was in love with this man. Look at him. Oh, I remember that song used to make me so emoshi as a kid. And then even now when I heard it, I was like, in my feels, you know? Um, what could a little, a little munchkin be going through for a love song to make them feel some type of way? I had crushes so early on, girl. I always had to have a crush. If I didn't have a crush, if I don't even now, if I don't have a crush, I'm so bored. I feel like, what is life without a cute little crush? You need to be crushing on people so you can, your mind can be occupied with things, you know? Making scenarios, seeing if you're excited about seeing them, if you bump into them, you tell your friends, you know what I mean? Having a crush is so important. It's what makes the world go around. The parking situation is not the cutest. My goal for the next few months is to come up with new adjectives besides the word cute. I recently started using it in like professional environments as well. And let me tell you something, it's not, it's not cute. She's brand new, full trim, and obviously got a little fringe situation going on. But yeah, I'm gonna go print my papers now for the interview and then go home, work, and then head to the actual interview. Okay, we're back home and the fringe is already pissing me off. Okay, this is a temporary vibe for now, because oh my god. I used to have a fringe, like a proper fringe, and I remember I always used to like look like this. I used to look at things like this because I felt like I had to like raise my eyebrows. So, also. I have my desk. Do I need my mic? Okay, hold on. I'll get my mic. Okay. What's up? Yesterday, I put my desk here so that I could watch TV while I was working because I needed to catch up on the Kardashians. I had like four or five episodes I hadn't seen. And um, honestly, I think I made a mistake because I really enjoyed it and I actually worked more efficiently than ever before because I didn't have to keep like turning my back to watch TV. Um, and now my desk is back in its place and now I'm just like, oof, I have to like just look out the window when I'm working. I can't like watch something um that's it but usually when i want to watch something i sit at my couch at my couch on my couch sit and um it's not good for you girl it's not good for you to sit and work on your couch one it hurts my wrist when i'm typing like that and two it's just not good for your posture um that's all i want to say should we do a room tour <laughs>
outfit. I'm wearing a vest thingy, Adidas trackies, Samba, same bag. I'm carrying my tripod and I have to take my mics. And I'm not late, but I'm just panicking about being late. So let's go, my Uber is outside, bye. A couple of hours have passed. I did the interview. He was extremely nice. He was extremely sweet. Um, long answers, which I love and well thought out too. Then I came back home, changed my top because it was too hot. And then I went to grab a little snack and ice cream and I had to do something for work quickly, got an article up and I just had dinner. Um, and I'm gonna read a tiny, tiny little bit. But I'm gonna read and then chill in my room for a little bit. And yeah, I have a night in, which is kind of nice actually. Cause December is gonna be quite hectic and I feel like before the season gets really busy, I like to really take advantage of the downtime. So I'm just gonna read and then um, chill and then sleep. So thank you for watching. That's the end of this vlog. Catch you in the next one. Bye.